Good day everyone, this is James Raven HD. Now starting from now on, I will be posting tutorials or advices or anything related to game development that will help other game devs as well. So every Sunday, I will be posting tutorials and game, advi game development advices and every Friday or Thursday or Friday, I will upload weekly devlogs of now recording. So be sure to click subscribe and hit that bell notification to be notified whenever I post a new video. Before we will begin, I would like to express my heartfelt gratitude to Mr. Tom Verstraden and to Escape 95 Games for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you so much for believing in me and for ev even for those who didn't support me on Patreon but follows me on YouTube giving good comments, likes, and sharing these videos. Thank you to all of you guys. We've reached 273 subscribers. Wow, I just earned 100 subs for like less than a month. So thank you so much, guys. I love you all. You guys are the best. Thank you. Now for our very first tutorial, I would like to share to you guys the easiest way to add textures in your Blender models and then import them to Unity. Okay, here we are in Blender. Now the first thing we're gonna do Alright, I'm not the best modeler out there, but for the sake of, for the sake of this tutorial, I will just use this little QB. Right, we're gonna name him QB. Yeah. Hi QB. Yeah, we're going. Okay, sorry. Now you can go here in Blender Render. Because first thing you're gonna do is go in Blender Render here. It's in the I don't know what's this called engine. You can change the engine. Two cycles render okay that's the first thing you're gonna do i don't know why but i mean it shows up different menus for example in here in the materials which we're gonna use later on if you're on blender render it is it has different menus however if you're on cycles render it's just like a simpler one okay now we're gonna add qb his texture the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna click in this uh, thing here which creates a new window there we go drag it to the left so you have two windows now and then you will change this into the editor type into UV image editor all right now we have this one the next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna open up our textures now click on the location whenever your texture is located for for the sake of the tutorial I've prepared this texture which has a very interesting file name <laughs> yeah just click on open image and voila you will have your textures open up here now click on QB and go to edit mode now by default, it will select all the vertices, the lines, and the faces. If you don't want that, you will only want to apply the textures into a certain face. You can, you can do that by clicking on this face select and then selecting the face of which you want to apply the textures into. But for this tutorial, we're just going to apply all of them. I mean, to all of the faces. Click A. Now after that, click U on your keyboard and then select Unwrap. It will show up in here, in the textures. Now you can adjust this by clicking S, that, or you can do it so by like adjusting all of these faces over here. I don't know if you can, I don't know if that's necessary to you, but yeah. You can also, if you want, you can, for example, you can select it here, you can select U, and then Cube Projection. It will give you more, uh, it will give you more options in adding your textures, yeah. So we're just gonna select all of them by pressing A and then just kinda make them a bit smaller. And then by pressing G on your keyboard, you can move the, uh, the keyframes, keyframes, I don't know, the uh, blueprints, texture blueprint, I don't know what's this called, just you can move this up, all right? And there we are. Now the next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna go to the materials tab in here and you can click this the default material you can create your own whatever you like but let's just use the default material for this tutorial and let's go into object mode now yeah before proceeding all right I've actually made a mistake in this a while ago I was already filming the first tutorial and then it didn't show up so I think something's broken I forgot to change the viewport shading into material that was really stupid for me. It's on solid by default. Now, if you want to see the texture, you can go on ahead and click material now. So, yeah, there we go. Your QB, our QB is lighting up. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to click on use notes. Now, for example, again, I'm just going to repeat it. If this menu doesn't appear, be sure that you're on cycles render, not blender render, blender game. Just cycles render. Click on use notes and 
uh, if you want to go into the default one, the default shading or the default shader, whatever that's called, default lighting, you can just stick with the default one. However, if you want to make it like, for example, you're designing a metal object, you want it to be shiny, you can use glossy. Okay, we're just going to use glossy. And then the next step, the next step is very tricky. You can't actually see the button. Okay, where do we import our texture over here? Still, look at that. Our QB has no texture. We've already assigned it. We've already unwrapped it in here, but still we can see it. Next thing you're going to do here to make the menu appear is to click this little button. I don't know why they place it in there. Just click this little button beside color and then click on image texture. There we go. And QB is now a black QB. The next thing we're gonna do, do not click open, I repeat, do not click open, just click on this little drop down here and select your textures of which we've imported a while ago, do not click open, huh? just click on the textures in the drop down. And boom, there we are, oh yeah, QB has now a texture, congratulations QB. So this here is QB, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna export him. but just by checking in, you can select it in here in the viewport shading. You can go in and select render. This is the final output. Now, if, this, if you just want to be sure that the texture is working, you can go to render again. And then, yeah. if the textures appear in here, you're good to go. If it doesn't, I don't know, but if it will appear mostly, yeah. So, we're going to export QB. Click on file, click on export, and click on FBX. Now we're just gonna save him in our desktop and then it's important in here it's optional but for me I don't really we don't really need the camera and the lamp because unity comes with its own lighting system and the camera you don't want two cameras in your game if you know like I don't know if you want it but we don't need it so just click on empty I'm at mesh and other okay do not include this one okay we're gonna export him oh sorry I'm gonna name him QB Cubium. there we go and then click on export okay we're now here in unity the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna import QB right QB yeah there we go QB is in now in unity Sorry. QB is now in unity yay however look at that that's a bad sign right textures not showing up in the model so just chill out don't don't worry okay we'll fix that now if we're gonna drag QB in our scene it won't have any textures in the material, it won't have any textures also, and you can't edit it. I don't know Unity where you're doing that, it should be there by default, but I know. Fix that in, okay, just fix that. Okay, so where is our textures? First of all, we're just gonna delete QB in our scene and click QB here in the, you know, the, uh, the model. Go into the model. Now this is very optional if you're making a wall, a door, or even like a terrain from Blender and you're gonna import it and you don't want to add manual colliders that would really really take your time. You could just click generate colliders and it will generate the colliders by its mesh. So if you're making uh, not just a cube but like a zombie, a person, anything, you're just gonna create generate colliders and it will add colliders based on the meshes of the model. Okay, click on apply. And go now to the materials, this is very important. And in the location, just select the use external materials, the legacy. Like that and click apply. Now in your, uh, in your assets, you will see that there is this folder called materials. And there we go, we can edit the material now for QB. Okay, so you can now drag QB back to our scene to have a preview. And then click on materials now the next thing we're gonna do I know this is very very tiring we're gonna import the textures that we've used in blender we're gonna import it to here in unity okay don't blame me for that that's just the way it goes now click on our material and click on standard from standard you can use you can use this if you're used to it but I am actually used to the original one so we can select legacy shaders here and just click on bump specular because this is equivalent to the glossy effect on our uh, blender. You can use uh, bump, I mean you can use diffuse over here, but we're just gonna click on bump specular because you're gonna know why later on. Bump specular and we're gonna have these two images. Now, simple thing, the next thing we're gonna do is just gonna drag the textures and voila, it will remember how we've 
uh, how we've texturized it in Blender. Okay, we're not gonna. It's not gonna. We're not gonna have to manually adjust textures in here because it will remember how we've texturized this on Blender. Now, the reason why this is very optional again for you, but I'm just sharing. You can. The reason why we've chosen uh, was that we've chosen the uh, bump specular or bump diffuse instead of the diffuse one. It's because we're gonna use a normal map. Now we can do this by clicking on our texture. We're gonna press Command D or Control D. So we'll duplicate this one. I'm just gonna name this normal map. Normal map. Okay, there we go, normal map, and in the texture type, we're gonna we're just gonna change it into normal map. Click on apply, and it will become blue. Okay, that's the sign. It's normal map. It's blue, and then drag our normal map in here. And I notice the change in QB. There we go. It's way more realistic this time, and you can adjust the shininess in here. Yeah, okay, like that. It actually is very optional. If you want it to be very shiny just go on full 0 0.03 okay so that's it guys that's all for now that is how you put texture on your models from blender okay because I was the other day I was making textures for now recording and I was really really stuck on how to like import like I've designed stuff in blender and when I imported it in Unity it doesn't show up in the textures, I was stuck for hours, so maybe this will help you guys. Before we end this video, I would like to give a shout out to Miss Julia. She's also a game developer like me and like you if you're a game dev. She's making this very cool 2D platform game. And the edge of this is that she's making the artwork by herself using, I think, watercolor. Or <laughs> I'm not really that good in art. So uh, she's really making this very cool game with very cool graphics in it. She's also making devlogs. So be sure to check her channel out guys. She is a really really nice person and she's very friendly. Quick update, I've revamped my Patreon page. It has, uh, I've improved all the info and the details now and also improved the uh, tiers and the rewards. So if you are looking for someone to support to, <clears throat> you can go to my Patreon page and please support me there. It would really really mean so much to me. I will be posting devlog number 2 for now recording on Thursday or Friday hopefully this week. I've already made some improvements, it's really really nice and I'm very excited to show it to you by uh, Thursday or Friday. Thank you guys for watching, peace out, God bless and see you in the next video.